Okay, really, it is honest to goodness Friday, but yes, we are in the kitchen. Here's a question for you. When you make pasta, does it seem like you are waiting for ever to get the water to boil? Well, it's because you're probably watching it. Or maybe you right. want to saute something and the clock just ticks away as you wait for the oil to heat up. Well, we are not actually cooking today. However, we are learning how to cook in a different way. Tom Young is with Delaware Appliance. Glad yes, you joined us Thank this you. afternoon. To, uh, this is some fascinating stuff. Now, what we're talking about is in induction cooking. Correct. Now, I've, I've heard this term before. Explain what what is induction cooking? Induction cooking basically uses magnetic energy. It only heats the pot and the pot heats what's inside of it. Traditional radiant heat cooking heats everything around and the heat comes up. This actually acts on the pot itself. So you have to have a magnetic pot, okay. which almost everything is, and it will work infinitely faster than traditional cooking or even faster than gas. And to prove it, you're going to issue us a challenge. We're going to see who can who can boil water the fastest. <laughs> and, and I, know this, you know, I love it. Okay, so turn it on. Uh, it's, it's on. Okay. Okay. All right. You want to go turn your burner on. Oh my God, do right. I have the right one? That, that's the right one. Yeah. So this one's high. mine. Now what's the difference right. between these you two burners? Can. The burners, this is an induction That's burner. Induction. And this is a traditional or radiant burner. And we've got uh, what, there, maybe half an we've inch. We've got we've got a couple in water in each of them. So oh, in this case, water. cooking faster is better. Right. Certain things when you're cooking just take time for no good reason. Boiling water to mm -hmm. do pasta. Mm -hmm. I've been in an, an example where I've seen somebody make a large pot of pasta, finish it, including the pasta, not just the boiling, before the water boiled on a 16,000 BTU gas burner. Right, right. Really? It, it's that much different. Mm -hmm. And I, said, I heard somebody say you call this the microwave of the... Well, in that 35 years ago when I first got into this business, microwave was the newest thing and people were afraid of it. Right, right I remember. had microwave demonstrators and all mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yeah, that's that's starting to happen. No, it's and not. It's really I'm not. starting to see a little steam no, there, no. Jimmy. Yeah, that's, that's no. That's called a shimmer there. That happens before a boil. That's called uh, water. <laughs> um, so... The microwave was a big thing, and now everybody has it. It's a given. It's right. in the kitchen. Yeah. Induction came out at the same time, but there were technical problems where they really couldn't make it work. Induction is now everywhere. All right. Every brand, there's a lot of them made. I got to ask you, first of all, I got to know, I got to point out that here, I'm going to even put my mic up to it so you can hear it right. starting to boil. <laughs> um, these are actually special pans that you're using on the induction. They're special only in that the bottom of them has to be magnetic. Mm -hmm. I've got one back here just to show you. And you said that most are. Most are, but you do need to test it. You put a magnet on the bottom. If it sticks, it'll work on, it'll induction. Work on induction. Okay. Uh, the old Visions cookware and stuff like that won't. It's all glass. There's yeah. no metal to it. As long right. as there's some ferrous metal. And, but you do want to take a magnet to it. Bought one one time that I thought was going to work. It looked like metallic. Yeah. Right. It was aluminum. It didn't do anything. Didn't do it. Right. it wouldn't work. But I, I, could, I just want to uh, note something. Mm -hmm. right. My water is boiling. Yeah, yeah. Now, with induction, will the top actually get hot? Actually, the top doesn't get hot. The only th reason the top gets hot at all is that the pot is the pot hot. hot. And, but you could actually, I could turn this burner on and put my hand on it. One thing you don't do, if you have a ring, mm -hmm. don't uh, put that on there because oh, that's no. metal. It's going to heat up. That's metal. Right. Now, one of the interesting things, we have a, a rolling boil there now. We have water. We water. have water, right. Mm -hmm. Maybe tepid water, right? right? <laughs> okay, we'll go with tepid. <laughs> tepid. Yeah, cool word. Now, right? what about cleaning this? Is, cleaning is very clean simple. It's, no it's the same surface. It's a saran, mm -hmm. which is a ceramic cooktop. Yeah. The cleaner you can buy in any store, anywhere. It's fairly simple. You just wipe it down. The big thing is just soap and water and don't let things get on there and cooked on. Right, that's right. the key to it. Is there anything higher than high? No, that's that's as good as you go. We can go <laughs> we can go extra high if you'd like, or we can go down high? a little bit, but that's not really gonna matter. And you can actually get the these water. with um, both this one is induction and right. uh, traditional so that you can use you your can other use pots both. and pans. Okay. More and more people are just now that they're getting more and more comfortable with induction, they're not right. really going to the All to right, the mix. Tom Young, so, thanks, thank Tom. you so My much. My pleasure for joining us. Very good next information. Time. Next time, uh, you know, for a dollar, you can have that. <laughs> <laughs> Still ahead on Dumb Arbor Life, Nate Clendenin and the Saltwater String Band getting ready for a big weekend in Berlin when they take the stage at the Fiddler's Convention. But first, they take the Dumb Arbor Life stage. A full performance is next.